Hi, I'm Ian Brooker, and these are my top three tips for gravel pit tench fishing. Tip one is artificial baits. Now, generally, when I'm fishing for tench, I like to spot out a big bed of bait. So you're looking at hemp seed, pellets, corn, red maggots, and casters. Now, the advantage with this is it gives you lots of different hook bait options. The problem you get, though, is that you're going to attract nuisance fish. By that, I mean you're looking at rudd, roach, small bream. Now, I don't want to catch these fish, and if you're losing live maggot on the hook, they're just going to trash them. So the advantage with artificial baits is that you can give a bait that looks identical. It doesn't matter how many times those small fish are going to pick it up, it's still going to look perfect, and it means when a tench comes along, it's not going to know the difference. The other advantage is they're buoyant, so you can critically balance them. So once you've done it, on the first time, you've always got to test it in the margins just to make sure that it's sitting correctly. But once you've done that, every time you cast out, it gives you perfect presentation. So there you go, artificial baits, small fish proof, and give you great presentation. Tip two is accuracy. Now when I'm fishing these big gravel pits, generally they're very, very weedy. So what I'm looking to do is try and find a clear patch. So looking for gravel bars, silty areas, somewhere that you can present a bait effectively. So what I generally do is get there, cast out the marker float, find that spot, and then clip that line up. I'll then pace it out, do the same with the spod rod, but I'll generally take off a little bit as well. So you've got to allow for the drop of the, the lead. Spot the bait out, get your marker float, pace it out, and you do that with your other rods. Now what I'll then do is tie a little, little stop knot about a foot from the end of the rod. So what that means is that when I'm clipped up, I can cast out, unclip the line. If I get a fish, see so I can land it. All I need to do then is just cast anywhere in the swim. As long as that stop knot is a foot from the end of the rod, I know that when I cast out next to my far bank marker, I'm going to be landing that bait on the baited patch. Now the advantage of this is that once that stop knot's there, you can move it around. So if I want to fish a bait towards the back of it, all I need to do, instead of it having it a foot from the end of the rod, four or five feet. So there you go, accuracy, absolutely key if you're using a spot and marker. Tip three is wind direction. Now generally these gravel pits are big expanses of water. I mean, you're looking at over 20 acres. And from anyone that's sort of standing there on the bank looking at them, they look quite daunting. All the features are underwater. But the best thing you can do is to get on the end of a wind. If it's blowing from a southwesterly direction, generally that's a warm wind. And what that does, it acts like a big conveyor belt. So all the little bugs and things that are going to be falling into the water are just going to travel down in the wind. The fish are going to follow them. So if you can set yourself up on the end of a wind, although it's pretty uncomfortable fished into these sorts of winds, the fish are there. They, they will turn up. So there you go. Top tip always fish into the wind. So there you go, there's three great tips for fishing gravel pits. I hope you can incorporate some of those into your own fishing. Mm -hmm.